in a moment you can hear from people talk about their experiences on the the basic skills course when they learned how to do co-counseling. It's a very uh, experiential course, not academic at all, but um, just before you hear from them, have a look at these manuals here, which you can also get to back up the training. You know, here's one manual by Gretchen Pives, which you can get, you can get hold of. Here's another one. Uh, this one's by Rose Everson and Richard Horobin. And uh, this is this is the manual that I've put together for the people um, I teach. Here's me. I'm Richard Mills. Um, that's me. You can see my website, uh, co-counselling.co.uk. I'm in Leeds, UK. And um, in my manual, um, it shows you the, the structure of the course, just the information you get, really. Um, so information about the course, the, the stance you take up, and then you'll hear people in this video talking about interventions. Interventions are things that people can use during um, a co-counseling session. Um, you can use them in order to do the work you want to do in the session. And as you can see, there's a whole list of them. But don't be put off too much by the fact there's a long list here. You, you learn them gradually and um, over time and over practice uh, you kind of um, work out how to use these things. Um, then some information about the session, how the session is structured and the ground rules. Then there's information you'll get about the theory of co-counselling, although I didn't really understand the theory much when I first learned it 15 years ago, but um, it makes a lot of sense to me now. Um, and then finally there's information here about the uh, co-counselling international network uh, with all the events which you can find out about uh, on another video. Probably you can click on this page and find the other video. Um, also click on the website cocounseling.net. So there we are. Let's hear from these other people now. It was uh, it was pretty amazing. It was mind blowing. I'd done very little um, self development work of any kind at that point. So this was like a oh wow, a whole, whole new world opening up. Uh, you know, it was, uh, it was a, yeah, incredible, life changing. Absolutely brilliant. Definitely, the, the being on the course, the fundamentals course, was fantastic. It was it was it was wow. <laughs> it was draining. It was really emotionally draining and uh, I was quite frightened of what was going to come out actually, baggage wise if you like, um, and quite amazed at how healing it was, amazed at how healing it was actually. So uh, the power of it, it was really, it, it really converted me to thinking, wow, you can, you can move on with your life. Did you learn anything new about yourself? Um, yeah. I first of all kind of want to say that I learned that I can manage uh, the emotional things that you that you tend to keep down thinking oh that's too big <laughs> um, so I think it was I learned that I could be free actually could be free to carry on in the in the present rather than carrying all that stuff around and also that I'd be able to I'd learn a huge skill to do with other people and um, it was lovely actually. It was very gentle and the focus that we had was on listening with respect and all the love we can muster. And I really liked that. It was really good for me to listen to other people with respect instead of thinking, well, I don't know why you did it that way. And it was magical for me simply to have someone listening to me and looking at me with love and respect. It made me feel very safe. I did it at Guildford, an enormous long trek it was, because I was living at Stevenage at the time. And it was the most... Um, I'd been doing some... I'd had quite a bit of counselling at that time. And uh, then this opportunity came up, and it was the most amazing two weekends. I did it over two weekends. And I... 
I remember I'd almost also booked into a further weekend of something, primal integration. After, but I did all the work I was thinking I was going to do in primal integration. It all happened in the co-counselling weekends. Um, and so, yeah, that's what first attracted me, just being told about it. And um, I liked the peer aspect of it. I remember I was very... That, that, I, and I think that's what I do like about co-counselling. I always feel I am in control.